Okay, so Maine doesn't exactly boast a climate that anyone would describe as tropical, but there are plants that do better when it's hot and humid in the summer months. We don't have a tropical climate, but we're having a few tropical days. 207's Peggy Kaiser picked up some gardening suggestions for turning your backyard into something a whole lot more tropical this summer. So we're in the garden, it's June, the weather's been great, and we're gonna talk about tropical plants, which, believe it or not, we can grow here in Maine, but in other places of the country, they're wild and crazy. But anyway, we can take care of them here in Maine as well. I'm with Tom Esterbrook at Esterbrook's in Yarmouth. And Tom, tell me a little bit about some of the special care that goes into these. Well, tropicals, you know, obviously they come up from the south. You know, a lot of these are from Florida and, you know, tropics. Um, but they like warm, warm, warm temperatures. So in June is when we want to really start thinking about doing these, putting mm -hmm. them in our pots, getting them outside. Right. Um, because they really would thrive when we get that heat. Yeah. If it's too cold, they kind of shut down. They're not happy. Right. So now here we're in June. Yeah. It's time to really think about, you know, constantly adding these to the patios, <sighs> in your pots, your entranceways, stuff like that. So here's a beautiful yellow hibiscus here. That now, is hibiscus, stunning. we have <laughs> shrubs that are hardy hibiscus. We have perennials that are hardy hibiscus. This is the tropical type. Okay. So long blooming all summer long. Each one of these flowers, like this is yesterday's flower. Okay. It's gone by, so you just pick this right off. All right. And then the next day, this one will open. These are today's. We'll pick all of those off. And you can see the flower buds are coming. Sure. So they'll bloom all summer long. So I would imagine these guys are going to need tons of water. Mm -hmm. So lots of attention in that department. And then at the end of the season, what, can we bring them back inside and nurture them over the winter? You certainly can bring them in. The tough part is they're not going to do well inside. Mm -hmm. So really, most people toss them because they're going to have some insects and we okay. don't want to infect all our nice house plants and other things inside. So, right. you know, a lot of the tropicals that we use on the patio won't thrive indoors okay. and you may bring more problems in. So we need to either treat them or make sure we're not infecting the plants that we have already inside Got and it. create more problems over the winter. Tell me a little bit about this one mm -hmm. and the one over here. Yep. So this is bougainvillea. Mm. So you see this down in Florida or maybe you go on a tropical vacation and you'll see this in big hedges. This is on a trellis. Okay. So, you know, you can put this in the center of a pot right. and then plant annuals around it that will trail mm -hmm. down over the pot. Very so, nice. you know, you can add a combination of different things. Okay. This is jasmine. So, oh, smell this. Yes. I mean, beautiful. If you could, beautiful. if we had smell a vision, you know, this would be amazing. <laughs> we don't yet. No, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and then here we've got, of course, Mandevilla. You yes. see them all over the place down in the Kennebunk Port and, you know, a lot of the hotels, stuff like that. Right. With all of your tropicals, Miracle Grow Bloom Booster is your friend. Okay, they are heavy feeders all summer long. Got it. Okay, so about every other watering, you want to feed them with about half strength of this. Okay. And that will continue to push a lot more flowers all summer long. Beautiful. So you can have a tropical oasis right in your backyard. Wouldn't we all love that? <laughs> <laughs> we need that. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. We will be right back.